welcome to our next class children uh, today's topic is forces between between multiple charges okay that is given by that you can find it by superposition principle superposition principle what is i think uh, we have seen in uh, gravitation same thing superposition principle okay so for that say i have to start see i have a charge its origin i have charge q not this is q not that is our test charge it is called as test charge and it is surrounded by so many charges that is q1 q2 Q three, etc., etc., like that. Q n charges, but I don't want to go for all. Yeah, that let there be n number of charges here. I am showing only uh, three charges here. The diagram. Why otherwise there will be a confusion while drawing the diagram. That's why. Okay. So now what is that? Now I have my uh, uh, what is it? What I want now is I want to find out. the force on my test charge that is q not due to the charges q1 q2 q3 etc up to q n it is surrounded by so many charges and number of charges let us say the diagram i have shown now is i told you only three charges okay so um n number of charges so i want to find out the total force on q not due to all the charge n number of charges okay to make the problems it's a uh, what is that uh, it is nothing but what is the force force on q not is nothing but the force on q not sum of that to which sum vector sum vector sum of force on q not due to all the other charges q1 q2 q3 etc up to qn okay therefore now uh, how to find out now see here uh, that is what is called the force that is our, our what our aim is to find out this now force on q not due to so many charges okay that that is given by superposition principle what is superposition principle see total force on any charge okay due to the number of charges number of other charges at rest now we are dealing with only electrostatics okay number of other charges at rest is the vector sum of all the forces on that charge due to the other charges due to the other other charges okay but taken one at a time we are finding first okay force on q not due to q1 then force on q not due to q2 force on q not due to q3 you find out and after finally what you have to do you have to add everything vector sum of all the forces that gives you the total force on q not due to What is that? All the charges. That is Q one, Q two, Q three, etc. Up to Q n. Is it clear? This is called superposition principle. Once again, what is what is superposition principle here? According to we are applying superposition principle here. Okay, according to superposition principle, the total force on any charge due to the number of other charges at rest. Okay, is the vector sum of all the forces on that charge due to the other charges. okay taken one at a time okay but here very important here 
is we have to note it right? the force due to an individual charges are unaffected by the presence or absence of other charges okay therefore force what is that here force on uh, uh, force due to the individual charges are unaffected by the presence or absence of other charges that is very important right now we are going to find out okay let me now draw the diagram is it clear that is what is called so up we are going to apply superposition uh, principle here to find out the charge on q naught due to the number of charges okay very important thing now what i am doing to make the problem simpler let me have all the charges are like charges why because it is not always okay q1 may be positive q2 may be negative q2 like that but it is very very complicated one so first what you want is you have to you should know what is a concept for that what i am doing is i am considering all the charges as like charges like charges okay therefore with this let us continue so now what is it q naught q naught what is the position vector of q naught is okay let me take the some other color <coughs> okay see position vector of q naught let it be r naught and q1 r1 it is not v r okay and q2 It is R2 and Q3 portion vector it is R3 okay so these are all the portion vectors of different charges it is R this is R or not and this is R right okay therefore as i told you all the charges are like charges and our uh, our aim is to find out the charge on uh, sorry force on q naught therefore first you find out what is the force on q naught due to q1 okay what is the direction first after that we'll go for uh, the magnitude and all we'll uh, uh, find it out okay first you find out what is the direction here because i told you everything is a like charge Therefore, it will experience a repulsive force. Therefore, repulsive force means it will be the force will be in this direction, right? Therefore, this is nothing but force on Q naught due to Q one because it is repulsive, correct? Okay, let me have once again um, some other color so that it will be easy for you. Okay, this this is the direction. Okay, then next one next one is see what is the force on q naught due to q2 this will be this is the division it is f02 f0 right now next one what is the force on it will be repelled no? right what is the force on q naught due to q3 it will be it will go away from this Therefore, it will be like this. So, it will be a line joining this and we extend it. Let it be F03. Okay. Therefore, uh, yeah, this. right. Okay, now we have uh, okay. Hmm? therefore now we have uh, the direction what are f01 
and F0 to F0 to and F0 3. What are all the directions? All are in different different directions, right? Therefore, if I want to find like that, n number of charges are there. I'm not showing in the diagram. I told you. Therefore, about how to find out uh, 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 total charge on uh, Q0 is F0. Total charge on Q0. Total charge on Q0 is F0. That is equal to okay vector sum of force on q0 due to q1 force on q0 due to q2 force on q0 due to q3 etc force on q0 due to qn that's it direct sum right what is f0 f0 is a total force on q0 due to all the other charges fine hope you are following right Therefore, our job is to find out what is F01 now. Okay, what is F01? That is equal to, you have idea, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Okay, Q0, Q1 divided by, in which direction is going? It is R10, correct? Because it is rippled from Q1 now. For R10, I think this you know, R10 means what is that? It is... Um, actually this is here this one mm, let me once again I'll uh, use some other color you see this is R10 correct huh? this is R10 okay now uh, the vector of course okay this is R10 therefore um, you know uh, like that therefore uh, R10 the whole squared R10 unit vector. Okay. Hope you are following me. Why? Because all our like charges will ripple now. It ripples means Q0 is rippling. Q0 is rippling means what is a rippled from Q1. Okay. Therefore, it will be moving in the direction of F01 here as shown in the figure. Right. Therefore, F02 therefore. That is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Q0 Q1 divided by r20 square even if i put without mod it is understood that its magnitude i think this we have seen in our 11th standard okay so even if i am putting like that it is magnitude etc right? etc like that i think i can give, do for f03 also okay f03 because i have shown everything in the three charges in the diagram let me go up to this q0 it is q0 q2 my dear and q0 q3 by r30 r30 uh, r30 means see in this direction from here to here r30 okay whole squared r 3 0 okay. therefore if i sum out uh, now i want to find out f naught force total force on q naught f naught is total force on q naught that is equal to i think i can get q naught by 4 pi epsilon naught you take it out you have to add everything now that is it okay q1 by r10 the whole squared r10 plus to by r20 the whole square r20 okay plus x try how many number of charges n number of charges so qn by rn0 the whole square rn0 unit fine therefore that is nothing but now i want to uh, write with, with respect to summation that is q0 f0 equal to q0 by 4 pi epsilon naught okay i don't have space here okay that um, what is the summation i that is equal to 
okay 1 to n 1 to n q i divided by r i naught the whole squared r i naught correct q i i will take different different values 1 to n therefore this is the uh, force this is a net force on q naught due to all the charges right if i want to represent in terms of position vector position vector of each and what is it r for only for summation final answer i will represent what is it f naught that is equal to q naught by 4 pi epsilon naught okay summation i that is equal to 1 to n q i divided by r i naught r i naught is nothing but r naught minus r i return the whole squared or if i want if i want to write in terms of cube i think portion vector cube we have done now ah, cube and r naught minus r i the vector okay so this is the expression okay the what is it this is your final expression okay and this is in terms of individual portion vector and this is expression okay so this gives you f naught as a q naught by 4 pi epsilon naught sigma i is equal to 1 pn q i by r naught minus r a the whole cube r naught minus r a so this is our vector by expression okay hope you are able to follow okay now let us go to the next topic now okay next topic is um, continuous charge distribution children are using colorful color different colors okay so at least i think you will have that interest no? okay that is why i'm changing the colors okay every now and then okay anyhow because at the i don't know how far i, I uh, in the classroom teaching is different here it is uh, different anyhow i'll try my best okay continuous charge distribution uh see so far we have seen Char uh, charge can exist only as uh, what is that A discrete charges you know it is charges are quantized we have seen no therefore charges can always you can say charge distribution is always discrete discrete okay but it is impractical okay to work in terms of discrete charge always always you cannot say that okay so many uh, practically it is not possible okay all always you cannot work in terms of discrete charges all uh, charges okay so how for example see i have uh okay on a charged a uh, surface i have a surface okay of a charged conductor some arbitrary surface let it be okay what is that positive charge sorry. okay once i told you uh, if charge is given to a conductor uh, what is that mm, it will be uniformly distributed okay like that therefore the surface is big it's a okay so that so many charges are paid okay you cannot find out because i am trying to actually make you understand in a simple way okay what is that if there are so many charges are there i cannot count the number of the discrete charges distribution is discrete but i cannot take uh, a discrete uh, what is that charge always if the surface is very big okay so how can i uh, how many number of charges are there how to count it okay so it's very difficult so that what can be done okay now in this case if i want to find out the total number of charge here 
okay then i can go for what is that i can assume that what is the continuous charge distribution i can go for this concept what is called continuous charge distribution okay so uh, how we can consider okay therefore for that how see for that i am taking a small very small area here surface okay here in this area this is this is this is s and this area let it be ds this is ds okay therefore in this how many number of charges are there you can very small uh, area i have taken surface uh, I, I have taken so that i can very well say that how many number of charges are there for example like even you can say that okay i'll see simply you can count the number of charges here now okay because the surface is very small so in that case let that be dq is the total number charge in that small area okay from this therefore the charges are uniformly distributed this is this continuous charge distribution works out whenever only when the charge is uniformly distributed okay that is very important here therefore now i can give how to find out the total uh, number of charge in the surface in the whole area uh, surface area that is yes but i have idea about number of charges in the small surface ds that is dq number of charges are there okay in that case we have to use one thing what is called charge density okay what is charge density charge density here here is what is the charge density here c it is uh, surface charge density surface charge density what is surface charge density means here it is called sigma surface charge density here why the charge is distributed in a surface okay therefore surface charge density that is equal to dq divided by ds dq divided by ds okay therefore that is what is called it is just like uh, what is that uh, density density uh, you can have uh, mass divided by what is the density density mass divided by volume mass by volume okay therefore here like that okay i don't want this no. okay mm. 